Hey Realm Walkers! This vid is for those who are at the start of their building journey and need a bit of advice. I mean, there's more to it than just plopping down a bunch of tiles and calling it a day, right? Like, where do we build in the first place? Let's get into it. When first getting started, lots of folks naturally want to build close to the Fey Portal, or to the Essence Trader. When I first fired up my game, I thought building somewhere between the two was best. Problem with this is you're eventually going to stop using them, so building here is kind of pointless. Instead, you ought to scout out someplace more beautiful and scenic, maybe up on top of a hill, or over by the ocean, or next to ancient Fey ruins, and try to find a place with plenty of flat ground. Once you've found the right spot, you want to do more than just clear the area. You want to make a camp with a stick tent, a bedroll, and a handful of angler baskets. I highly recommend setting one of your angler baskets to allow build from storage. And then toss all your stone, wood, sticks, and fiber in there. Then you can move your materials around without getting weighed down. Once you've got a base camp down, it's time to create a security perimeter using estate carrots. Definitely one next to your tent, which you ought to set as your respite point. Then you'll want to go to every POI that's close to you, such as statues, tree groves, and fey ruins. And you want to put a cairn in each of those too. Your map should look something like this. Each of these little house icons is an estate cairn that's providing a little bit more security for your slice of the map. You should spend a bit of time exploring the area a bit further out from your perimeter. Partly to farm wood and stone, but also to break down certain things you come across. Like tents and bedrolls and fey chests. What this does is free up a bit of that build item limit so you can have more decor at home. And while you're out here, you may as well go to the Realm Transmuter. All you really want to do is play the best Settler card you've got, which you hopefully got while looting those Fey Chests. If you don't have a Settler, then Treasury, Ori, Forge, or Lumber Mill could work. And while you're out and about, you should pay close attention to the Sun's Path, which isn't east or west like in the real world. This one rises in the north and sets in the south. This matters so you know which direction to face your home. Maybe you want a lot of sun to come in through the front, or from the side. Or maybe you want to build your hideout nestled under a hill of shadow. I got one last bonus tip, though it's meant for a bit later, after you've got a few synchronous lotuses on hand. You'll want to use these to make Zephyr anchor points. Placing them around the abeyance makes traveling way easier for yourself. You'll definitely want one at your home, probably right by its entrance. I suggest having one by the Fate Portal and another one at your realm spawn point. To figure out where that is, just invite someone over. If they appear randomly somewhere in your realm, that's where you build your Zephyr point. Thanks, Katari. Y'all should go say hi to her on Twitch. Link's in the description. I want to note that you've done all this hard work to prep your location, so please don't just build a box, okay? I've got a couple of videos that ought to help out in that regard. Go check them out. And sound out in the comments if this quick little guide helps you out or if you got tips to share as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.